Hi Leo, welcome to your August You versus Them Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Leo, we're looking at you versus them. So we're going to look at your energy versus their energy. See what's going on, no matter your situation or uh, circumstance. Now, if you're not really interested, it's probably not your reading. Uh, for those who do want to know, this is probably for you. It may, well, may or may not be, but we'll see. Hopefully it will be. So don't take it to heart if you, you know, if you don't want anything to do with a certain person, then it's probably not your reading, but hopefully it will be. All right, Leo, happy birthday. It's still your birthday. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female, general collective rating. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well as we are reading for you. Now, Leo, I'll be putting your energy here and the other person here. So, you know, you can switch them if you need to. So, so welcome in, Leo. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at the bottom. Well, let's see what we have at the bottom just to get like overall energy between the two of you. And what do we have? We have love. So I'm just saying, Leo, just saying. All right. So let's see what you have here. Creativity and the started feminine. Oh, Leo. Leo, Leo. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see where that's going. Okay. So, I mean, you may have been dis maybe distorted in the past, but maybe you found a new creative outlet and maybe you're slowly coming out of that energy. Let's see. Let's see what the masculine has. Well, what am I saying? Let's just see whoever this is. So, I don't even know why I said that. So, I mean, whether you're a male or female watching this, whatever. So, again, females can be masculine, males can be feminine, vice versa. This side, they have manifestation and life purpose. Wow. So, on this side, I mean, these could be reversed. For some of you, maybe. Most of you, maybe. But this person here definitely feels like they're living their life purpose. They're definitely, uh, maybe was through this connection. But they're also either trying to manifest the connection with you or they're just busy manifesting like things in their life like their goals dreams and purpose but over here um i don't know this distorted feminine feminine we're gonna see maybe you know already out of this energy and now just going down new creative pursuits but we'll see what's going on here all right leo so let's take a look at this side first. So again, Leo, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there, as well as list of readings I do here. My other channel, if you want to subscribe there in case you lose me here or this channel disappears, you'll find me there. Not currently uploading, but you can still subscribe if you want to. Pin top comment description box. All right, Leo. So let's take a look at, like I said, I'm looking at your energy there. So let's see. Let's see, Leo. Let's see. All right. The world. The devil. Oh, well, how fitting is that that we have that with the distorted feminine? Just saying. Temperance. Hmm. Okay. Queen of Wands. That could be you, Leo. Page of Cups. The star. Massive healing. Now, they say the only thing that can overcome the devil is strength. So we'll see. Sometimes I feel like a certain combination of cards can outpower the devil. Like you get uh, the sun and temperance and the star and a lot of positive cards around it. I feel like that can kind of defeat the devil as well. But we'll see. Page of Wands. This card is funny. Look, why is he riding his wand? I don't know. I don't get it. I have to laugh at that. That looks so silly. All right, let's see. The moon in reverse. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Five of Cups reversed. Ah, uh, upright, I mean. The Nine of Swords. Leah, what's going on here? Six of Cups. I definitely feel like you're hoping... <sighs> okay, Leo, so definitely some of you here have walked down that road of maybe... Um, obsessing about this person or wondering about this person or trying to get this person into your life or something like that but I definitely feel like here there's a lot of fear stress worry anxiety you feel like there's been loss or you know heartbroken um, kind of energy 
like you lost out with this person maybe like it didn't work out eight of pentacles here but then we have the moon in reverse which means now not really fearing you know not fearing what's going to happen or not fearing what you can't see what was this over here oh the star yeah so i mean the star is massive healing and temperance those are two big healing cards temperance definitely balanced out energy this person could be at a distance or you feel like they're very distant from you because we do have the world energy here page of cups somebody could have offered their feelings emotions it definitely could have been you leo maybe you told this person how you felt very attracted you know to them with that queen of wands definitely some romantic feelings here and maybe with the page of wands and the page of cups you kind of told them how you felt and maybe you felt like you were you were uh rejected temperance is like feeling like this is a soulmate connection something meant to be you know it's usually peace harmony joy love light balance uh past life healing divine alchemy bring feeling like that you were meant to meet this person that your soulmates so you could have been a little obsessed with this at one point uh but i feel like maybe slowly you're starting to let it go you know healing from this i mean the star and temperance are both feeling like divinely guided energy here you know star was dream come true divinely guided energy things meant to be balance uh healing but i mean we still have that little bit of anxiety there but we do have the six of cups which is your i feel like some of you are feeling like this person's going to return or you're just hoping for their return i mean the world can be endings and new beginnings as well or a new cycle getting ready to start it could be that you've started i mean the queen of wands can be very creative you know intuitive creative spiritual go-getter kind of energy so maybe right now you're focusing more on other things than so much this connection but it's like the six of cups here like you're still feeling like this person's going to return back into your life someday somewhere somehow it's kind of what i'm feeling let's just get a little more um seven of pentacles in reverse could be about you know no more waiting knight of swords something happening very quickly the full energetic reset brand new start seven of cups but there's confusion four of wands some of you you could feel like this is twin flame but it doesn't have to be but it's like a little confusion here no more waiting knight of swords so i'm almost feeling like leo you're feeling like something unexpected is going to happen the queen uh knight of swords can be that energy and some sort of new energy is going to happen here and it's like you don't know how though the seven of wands it's like you may just feel it i mean we don't have the high priestess here but i'm kind of feeling like a very intuitive intuitive energy from you well there's strength there you are leo and that's the only thing that can overcome the devil so i did feel like here at leo that maybe this you know i'm gonna have to cover that up like that um did weigh heavy on you at one point but i feel like you're kind of you know getting over it not getting over it but you're moving on and i think it probably did take you a while to do that let's see the emperor hmm, so feeling like this person is your divine counterpart queen of pentacles i don't know if you were married or they were married or maybe you worked together but solid stable grounded energy and i'm almost feeling like like you leo feeling like you know what i could be a really strong stable grounded partner for this person ten of swords but feeling like it ended here look at that we have the king and the queen of pentacles just saying so you definitely felt like there was some sort of connection here like you'd make a really great team but it didn't really happen here with the ten of swords so there was a lot of heartache and despair here with the three of swords so we have aries energy here see so we have aries pisces sag this could be aries or it could be leo uh pisces aquarius sag again capricorn leo Aquarius, Taurus, scorpio all right all right so let's take a look at their side and see what is going on with them so we do have love there as the overall energy and we do have the emperor right there so let's see what is going on on their side for you leo what do we need to know about their energy if you would like me to do these readings every month um i was doing them at one point on my channel then i stopped now i may be taking out the moon readings i may be adding this reading 
and there may be some polls going up as to what other kind of readings you'd like to see or you can leave a comment down below thank you for all those that do leave those great positive loving comments at the bottom and i know i don't say that a lot uh or i sh you know and i know i should so somebody did point that out and if you're watching this thank you but i do appreciate all the support and the positive comments that you give and I really do appreciate that. All right, so Seven of Pentacles on this side. Ten of Wands. Six of Pentacles is about balance. All right, let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Hierophant. Oh, was this person, maybe this person was a person that was maybe married or in some sort of, um, why did I hear arrangement? Okay, that's weird. Commitment relationship marriage arrangement that is just awkward okay five of pentacles all right should i oh look temperance so you both have repeating cards here that's like i decided to use two decks because i wanted to see if we get any repeating cards six of swords i feel like this person is moving on from something let's see king of wands look now we got the king and the queen of wands leo so this could be like a power couple let's see the lovers oh my goodness leo who is this love lovers seven of swords and oh the ace of cups reverse though they only got one reversal here so i feel like here leo this person i definitely feel like Maybe at the time that you met, they were too weighed down with things going on in their life right now to invest any kind of time, energy, effort into, you know, getting to know you or befri befriending you or whatever the case may be. But I see things balancing out here for them, the Six of Pentacles. They definitely could have been married, I mean, with the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles, whether, like I said, it was a marriage, commitment, relationship, arrangement. I don't know what that means. Um... So maybe that resonates for somebody. I don't know. Maybe they were in some sort of arranged relationship. Maybe they, they're a different culture or something. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like whatever that was for them, there's a lot lacking in that for them. And they, they didn't have enough resources. I mean, that is a lot of lack here with the Five of Pentacles to even think about or invest in another person at the time. But you both have temperance here. So, but they have the lovers. So I do see, again, balance here with temperance uh, coming into a much lighter energy for themselves right here. Um, six of Swords, so they're definitely moving out of rocky, troubled waters and moving into peace, harmony, balance, and maybe they physically have moved as well. And I feel like this person is more in their uh, power right now, this King of Wands. And then it's actually you, Leo. So they're definitely um, thinking about you in the lovers. So there definitely was a connection here that they felt seven of swords but they had to avoid it probably at the time because they had to with the seven of swords here i don't know always take that as lying cheating stealing i mean it can be or it can be avoidance running out of fear strategy so i think they because you see this seven of swords and he's kind of looking at the lovers like i have to avoid that i, I can't do that right now that's kind of what i'm feeling so there was you know nothing that invested in the connection to have it blossom into some sort of connection but they felt it. There was something there, the lovers. So if you're wondering if they felt something, I definitely would say yes. Let's see what they have, else they have on the top of their deck here. Oh, the moon reverse. You both have the moon reverse. Look at that. Both coming coming out of and getting over a fear or what lies ahead. Ace of swords. So clarity from... They got a lot of clarity on their side. So I feel like they manifested their life purpose. So maybe they were in a situation where... They couldn't be who they were truly meant to be or do what they were truly meant to do. And now they have the power to do that. And that's what they're doing. And now they're in a much more balanced energy. So that could mean here that they could be getting ready, Leo, to, you know, contact you or catch up with you or see what you've been up to and see if there may be still a chance here. But we do have a lot of clarity here or maybe even communication. There's that leap of faith with the fool. We did see the fool on your deck as well. Energetic reset. And the Queen of Swords. This could be somebody divorced, male or female, it don't matter. You know, maybe they've been through a lot and they've gotten a lot of guidance, assistance, help, uh, coaching or therapy or counseling. They definitely could have gone through that. Seven of Wands. They definitely did have a wallop 
But I think whatever heartache, pain they went through here, they're over it now with the three swords reversed, which is good. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for them. And the Ace of Wands, they're excited. they're ready for the new. I mean, this Ace of Cups is in reverse. Technically, it should be upright because usually after I do a reading, I take all the reverse cards in that re reading. Like, I'll take all these and put them in the opposite. And I kind of fix the deck so I don't have the same uh, reversals in, this, in the next reading. And I forgot to do that with this deck. So technically, this Ace of Cups should be upright because it was reversed in my other reading. But anyway, so... I mean, there is still a chance here for that brand new beginning in love. Doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. But they also have the Ace of Wands, so very excited for something new here. Look at that. And then we have the Emperor and the Emperor. Some it could be same sex. It doesn't have to be. I mean, we do have the Distorted Feminine up there. But like I said, males can be feminine as well. Let's see. Two of Wands in reverse can mean someone's made up their mind and they're choosing a path here. Somebody was stuck before. They were definitely stuck. There you are, Leo, with the sun. So they're definitely thinking a lot about you because we had Leo over here, and the sun is Leo. So, I mean, that is usually, look, they got the star, too. It's reversed, but um, on their end. But I think they're still wondering about you. Like, I wonder what Leo is up to. They're not quite sure, you know, with the star and the sun and reversed, if maybe, they may be, like, still thinking of you, Leo, but not really sure if it's still meant to be, or if it could be, or should I reach out, or, you know, what What if that was just a thing of the past, and, but you know, they're not going to know unless they do reach out, but I kind of see here that they may. We do have Aries there as well, just to see, you know, what's going on. I think I might have gotten this, um, I just did your new moon readings, and I think it was kind of similar uh, readings here, energy. All right, so we do have Gemini, Leo, Sag, Taurus, we did have Aries over here, so not many signs on their side, but... All right, Leo. So let's get some of these and see. As far as um, a time frame, I mean... They did have, really, three aces on their side. Aces, for me, can be, like, one month. So maybe here by... Maybe even by... Well, your season's almost done, so I can't say that, but... Um, could be within the next four weeks or so. And the Emperor's four as well. All right. So let's see, Leo, what this deck has to say. And again, everything you need to know is down below. Leo, if you did like this or it resonated, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. It's really appreciated. And this person also with the Hierophant, that could be like higher levels of education. They could have really climbed up in their career. Definitely with manifesting life purpose. You know, being at a higher status, even a business owner, entrepreneur, a leader in some sort of way as well. All right. So let's see, especially with the King of Wands there too. But I mean, we do have the King, Queen of Wands, just saying. I think that's the only um, court cards we had other than pages was the match of the King and Queen of Wands. So I don't know if you're dealing with another uh, fire sign maybe. All right. So let's see what this deck has to say make a plan. Well, they could be making a plan that you don't even know about, Leo. Do what you love. I feel like you're in the energy now, Leo, of finally just kind of, well, if it's meant to be, it'll be, and just focusing on you. And I think it took a lot for you to get over that, and now you're doing what you love. And they could be doing what they love, too. So maybe now if you're both in that energy of doing what you're meant to be doing, it could be, you know, maybe your energies are more aligned now to uh, come back together in some way shape or form reevaluate your priorities you may have to make some time um if this person does come back around you may have to rearrange some things face your shadow i definitely feel like this person definitely had to face um a lot of shadow that is for sure and love yourself so i think that has to do with definitely energies here of overcoming a lot of challenge, especially on their side, and just going with the flow here. And just, you know, focusing on our mission, purpose, our passion, our whatever we're meant to do. And I think it could be it could be time here for this to align. I mean you both have Sagittarius, which is soulmate alchemy, divine energy, bring soulmates together at just the right time. Peace, harmony, joy, love, light, balance, healing, maybe even past lives together. 
especially with the lovers here too. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. Again, if you like this and would like to add, have me add this to the lineup every month, please do let me know. There may be, uh, there's some polls on the, um, community tab you can vote on now and I may be putting up some more because I, like I said I may be taking out the moon readings and adding this reading in but then uh, I may need to add a few more so I'm not quite sure what that's going to be so you may be seeing some polls coming up on the community tab but anyway I'm wishing you the best Leo happy birthday and I shall see you next time <music>